hi guys and welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well and having a good day it is tuesday and i have absolutely no idea where the last few weeks have gone at all i looked at the date just now and it's like the 26th of september what is going on honestly but it is getting into autumn and spooky season shall we say in sim terms um and halloween in real person terms <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to it. I absolutely love Halloween. I don't know why. I didn't used to, but I think as an adult, I've kind of grown to love pumpkins. <laughs> Every time I go in the shop, my fiance is like, no, not another one. <laughs> um, but yeah, today we are working on a Victorian house. It is a autumnal themed home. I do end up changing it around quite a bit. We end up not using the very back of this house. So it is cut off where this wall ends here on the right side. Um, but yeah, I didn't want it to be too big, but in the beginning I did decide to make it a bit more elongated, but then I decided it was a bit much. So I did dial it down a bit and it's just the main bulk of the building, not the back of it. Anyway, you know what I mean, hopefully be rambling on um so we are working on a victorian style so that is quite different from what i'm used to um i do have a shell challenge out at the moment which is due on the um 15th of october i had to think then um which is on my gallery of course at laura abby x so go go <laughs> so do go and check that out if you'd like to have a go at that because that's quite fun um victorian style houses are not something i do very often um, it's definitely more fitting for this time of year, so I've had a go at it. Um, this home is kind of Victorian looking, it's kind of that, like old fashioned style. And there's certain things I've been like realising they have a lot of in these type of builds. It's definitely a very high porch. The platform of the house is very high, they're very tall. Um, they mostly have like a, like a Rapunzel tower vibe to it, you know? <laughs> Um, like a turret in most of them um, where I'm from they do kind of have these styled buildings scattered around not like everywhere but um, about half an hour from where I live where I went to university the, um, the houses around there look quite similar to these it wasn't too difficult for me to kind of get an idea of what they sort of looked like but um, it was still a challenge to build because I'm not used to it, but it was a fun challenge. So I do encourage you guys to go and check out the shell challenge. It isn't this building, but it's quite similar um, on my gallery, which is due halfway through next month. And I'll be touring them on my Twitch channel, so that'll be fun. Um, it is quite a difficult challenge, like I said, because it's not something most of us simmers do very often. Um, so it isn't easy, but I think it is fun to test your building abilities now and again. Um, I kind of like to stick to what I know most of the time, but sometimes I'm like, mm, I've been playing it safe a bit too much, so I'll do something a bit more intriguing that I'm not very good at. <laughs> um, it's not always going to turn out amazing. Sometimes you find, oh, actually, it looks quite good. Um, other times you're like, mm, I'll stick to what I know, but the fact that you tried is the main thing, so that's all you can ask of yourself. Um, so yeah, now we're just working on the exterior. Um, I absolutely love these steps leading up to this house. I think it is gorgeous. I end up adding lots of Halloween spooky stuff, decorations. Um, I think it is really cute. Um, it's my first year having the spooky stuff pack. Um, I didn't buy it when it first came out and then this year I've kind of gone crazy since I <laughs> obviously make content for Sims now. Um, not literally, but I wish. Um, <laughs> So I've bought everything that exists in Sims. So I have um, started to build with the spooky stuff, stuff bag, for the first time ever in this season. So that's fun. Um, I did find that there was, there was quite a lot of stuff, of course, but I do actually use cottage living debug items quite a lot as well for the pumpkins and the squashes. <laughs> I just think they go really well together. It's nice to have a combo because some of the pumpkins have faces on them and some of them don't and I just think it's nice to have a bit of variety. Um, some look very unnatural and the others are more like decorative pieces, you know, so I like having both as an option. I think it's quite nice. And I did also add some little tea lights, which you'll see in a moment. Um, I'm rambling on. I'm talking about stuff that hasn't happened in the video yet, but I just really love that part. <laughs> 
So I wasn't sure when I was first starting to make this if I wanted to make all of the inside a Halloween theme or if it was just going to be the outside or whether the inside was going to be old fashioned or whatnot. But I did decide to go all out because why not? Um, so we do have an entire autumnal looking house. It is very um, spooky and well, not too spooky. I didn't want to make it creepy. I want it to be like that they were living in an old house and they were trying to make it look fit in for the season. Um, it's not like creepy, I don't think. Um, I suppose you could make it creepy, but um, I did include furniture that was a bit more old fashioned, I suppose, but it wasn't like over the top old fashioned, you know, because sometimes when you build, you're like, mm, that's certainly not from this time period, but I think it's a nice combo of modern and all together. Um, of course, you had to have a rocking chair that kind of makes it a bit more creepy, but. <laughs> Um, this house wasn't built for anyone in particular, this was just for myself because I wanted to have a go at making the steps out the front like I keep going on about <laughs> because last year when I made a Halloween build, um, Sims actually shared it for the first time ever, ever, um, and I was like a total fangirl so I wanted to have a go at it again because I really loved that house anyway um, and I just think it's really fun to make um, more decorative piece out the front of your house because you know when you build it's like they kind of not they don't look the same but they kind of have the same vibe some of them whereas like when you've got like a particular season in mind or a holiday you can kind of like go all out on the decorations so that's what i was doing um so that's why i have done that with this house um like i said it is a victorian house so technically it should have probably been more old-fashioned but my thought process was that the people had moved in here and it was around this time of year and they wanted to make the most of the season um, but they still have their more uh, modern day furniture then it's not modern but just you know normal furniture for these days um, I do really like how it turned out I was quite unsure what to do with this space to be honest like I said I always struggle a little bit with dining rooms I never really know how to fill the space and it was quite a big room so I was like mm, not really sure but I do end up adding a bar and I think it looks really cute. I like how it all adds up together and I think the decorative pieces in this room are gorgeous. And yeah, I just really like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do definitely struggle with dining rooms. If you guys have any tips on dining rooms and how you like to fill the space, do let me know because I'm a bit, well, I stumble a bit on dining rooms. I'm like, mm, I don't want them to look the same, but like they all kind of look the same. <laughs> But this one didn't, of course, because of the theme. Um, but yeah, it was a very big room to try and fill the space, but I think it looked nice in the end. And guys, these cushions, honestly, life-changing. The cushions just make everything look completely different, in my opinion. I just think they're gorgeous. Um, from the Modern Luxe kit, I definitely recommend it. As a builder, I think they're very nice items. Um, and there is a TV in there as well, which I wasn't aware of. Um, but when I filtered all of them, um, all of the items together, I was like, is that your TV? I thought it was just a, a piece of wall art, but it isn't, which was quite a nice surprise. Um, but yeah, so now we're working on the kitchen. I did actually do this first, I just put it in a weird order to upload the video, but um, I really like this kitchen. I did struggle a little bit with the placement of the cabinets, as you'll be able to tell in a moment. As always, I had to alt place them, and I'm not a big fan of alt placing cabinets because they always clip. And I don't like it when you can see that little glitch between the items, but it wasn't too bad. Um, I was doing this on live stream as well on Twitch, so I was like, mm, <laughs> I don't want to mess up while everyone's watching me live as well, but it turned out okay. Um, I like the style of these cabinets and the counters, I think it suits the era. They're quite old fashioned, but like not too old. Um, I wasn't sure how to do the placement of these countertops. I wasn't sure what I wanted. I did end up doing it kind of like a curve um, sort of vibe, but I wasn't sure in the beginning. I do like how it turned out. Um, I did decide to add kind of like a little island, but with stools so they could sit in there. Um, we do have a kind of like a little mini table in here also as well, if you did want to have more people sit in here instead of going in the main dining room. Um, but yeah. I was a bit, well, I don't know what the word is, concerned maybe. <laughs> um, like I said, it's not my usual style, but I do like to challenge myself. Um, and we did have fun on the stream, it was a nice stream, it was calm. Um, the other day I had a very angry person on my stream, um, for literally no reason. I, I don't think they actually knew me, I think they got me confused with someone, but it was quite funny. 
um, you get all sorts of people in this environment that you're in, I guess. Um, it's not been too bad lately, considering, but yeah, there's always some, which <laughs> you just gotta learn to live with. I laugh off most of the time. Um, some days when I'm in a bad mood, it's like, I really don't need it. But other days I'm like, ugh, leave me to it. <laughs> Anyway, back to the build. So this is my favorite part of the entire build. I think it is adorable. I absolutely love it so much and it looks really cool at nighttime as well. So that's adorable. Look how cute and the candelabras. Obviously in real life you couldn't do this because it probably set the trees on fire, but it's Sims, so <laughs> they can live with it. But I think it's so cute and the little ghosts are just adorable. Um, I would absolutely love to do this in my own house. I don't have steps as high, of course, because I doubt most people do, but <laughs> I really like making the pumpkins a little bit smaller on some of them as well. I just think it like really adds depth to the building. I just, I think it's really cute. Um, I am kind of obsessed with spooky season and Halloween. Um, I don't know why, but definitely more as an adult that I like it. I know I said that at the beginning of the video, but look how cute the pumpkins look. I just think they're adorable. <laughs> um, but yeah, in more of sad news, um, it's my first year um, doing all of the holidays without my granddad being around and I don't know, I'm kind of a bit worried that I'm going to be upset about it. I'm fine, but I don't know. You'd always um, laugh at the fact that I would just keep buying pumpkins, I'd come home and I'd have more pumpkins, he's like, how many have you got now? <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I miss him a lot. and. It's just gonna be strange celebrating stuff without him. Um, we have had one Christmas last year without him, but he literally just passed, so it was more of just a getting through the day sort of time. So I'm a bit worried about this year, but I'm sure it'll be okay. Just sad, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to stay positive and trying to stick to my sim stuff, which distracts me greatly, and I love it very deeply. Um, it's just, life's definitely hard sometimes, guys, and I think that it's good to be aware that everyone's going through something, even if they don't talk about it, or wish not to talk about it, or, I don't know. I try to be nice to everyone. Um, I guess that even if someone's, like, unpleasant to you or not nice to you, it's easier just to... Well, it depends what they do, I guess. <laughs> but within reason, it's easier just to not do anything sometimes especially online i guess if it's in person it's different but um you, know, you just never really know what anyone's going through i suppose um so just try and be nice to as many people as you can um but obviously don't put up with rubbish either <laughs> it's kind of a, a hard line to um know whether to cross or not <laughs> but anyway um Working on at the nursery upstairs now. How adorable is this nursery? I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I think it's really cute. Um, I quite like that I used a green bottom layer of the cot, or crib, what I'd like to call it. Um, usually I just use the pink one, but I think it really suited this room because it was kind of more like, um, what's the word, a nature type of room, you know, kind of, not rustic, that's the wrong word. Woodlandy, that's not a word, but you know what I mean. <laughs> And this is the child's bedroom that we're now working on. I think it is really cute. Of course, every room has an orange vibe and this ghost wallpaper. I think it's from spooky stuff as well. Um, but how cute. Um, I don't usually use a lot of orange in my build, so I decided to use orange a lot, a lot in this build. And I think it is really cute. Um, and the little stickers as well on top of the mirror and the bookshelf, I just think are really cute. And it just added a lot to this room, in my opinion. Um, I love adding wall decor, it just kind of like fills the room up, it feels like a real person lives in there and it's not just a room, you know? So that's what I was going for, I just think it's really cute, I adore this room. Um, I do end up putting in um, my first pet stuff, I don't know what it is in the cage, it might be a hamster or a mouse, or I'm not sure, can you get a mouse as a pet in here, I don't know, but of course it was orange as well. <laughs> um, so yes, now we're moving on to the eldest daughter's bedroom and she has a little baby girl. Um, I wasn't really sure how to fill the space because I wanted to include some baby stuff but not like overdo it as well, you know? Um, so it's not too much in this room, but I kind of felt like the daughter maybe moved back home momentarily so her room wasn't like too packed. 
um, but it was still um, cozy and of course orange. <laughs> so I do like it very much, but it wasn't too overly crowded. <laughs> because I kind of imagined that she wasn't going to be staying here for too long, but long enough that she needed it to be cozy for her little girl and herself, of course. Um, so yeah, there's not much to it, but it's fine. <laughs> um, so yes, and now we are moving on to the parents' bedroom. Um, this is quite a bold room. <laughs> I wanted to include this. I think this is from Vampires, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, I do really like this bedroom. It's quite overly dramatic but what isn't these days <laughs> i do like it but it's certainly not a, a room that i would live in myself i think it is very like in your face but it's perfect for this house i kind of feel like the parents are very like you know out there <laughs> and this rug idea i thought was really cool it was kind of like a halloween target <laughs> reminded, um, reminded me of like archery um just me probably um but yeah <laughs> So yes, we do have one room left, which is the bathroom, which you can kind of see in this video already, but hey ho. Um, and yeah, that is all for today's video, guys. I will be hopefully uploading tomorrow, and I'll probably be live on Twitch later on, so be sure to come and hang out over there if you'd like to see me building. I'm currently making a housing estate, and it's 11 houses. Insane. Why did I sign up to do this? Um, well, I didn't sign up for anything, but... <laughs> I just decided to and here we are so if you do want to come and see me work on that be sure to come over to my twitch channel later on i'll probably put the link in my community tab over on youtube so be sure to check that out um and yeah that is all for today guys i'll hopefully be back tomorrow and yeah that's all really so yes i hope you have the most wonderful day and i shall see you guys later on thanks for watching bye guys <laughs>